hard drive and things like that. You can get a flat panel monitor for it if you want. Um, and I can give you a CRT, I can give you a screen for it. But it's totally up to you. Mm. Oh, cool. Laptop, please. Okay. okay. Yeah, thank you. All right. Now, this is the laptop. This is its power supply. Okay, now with the laptop, there's some rules, and these are very important, because if you screw this up, you'll break the machine. Mm -hmm. One, don't sit on it. I don't, don't let any friends sit on it. I don't care how skinny they are. I don't care if you've got anorexic midget friends. Don't let them sit on it. Okay? Two, never, ever put this on your bed or on the carpet because the, it's got little holes in the bottom. Okay? It has to breathe. This makes about 40 watts of heat whenever it runs. This is true of any laptop. I own a computer shop. 90% of the laptops that we have to fix are because some idiot sat on them or because they ran it on their bed. Because people sit on their bed and, you know, they'll do the thing. Well, their bed's big and soft and, you know, it blocks all the air holes. If you want to use it on your bed, just put a book under it. Just a, a big book, you know, thin. Get, get, a, get a coloring book. Something. Doesn't matter. As long as it's hard. Um, but just set it on something that's hard and flat so it can breathe and it'll be totally cool. Just fine. This is the Wi-Fi card. It pops out. Okay. When you're using it, put the card in it. And there's actually space for two cards, so you could put it up above or below. Always put it low and in. If you just stick it in the slot, it won't fit right. So you want to have it flat and go low, and it'll pop right in there. 99% of the time, you just leave it in there and you don't worry about it. Okay? This is the power adapter. This, it's yellow, see, little yellow thing. The yellow plug, so you know where it goes. Okay? <laughs> when you put this in there, another really common way to screw up a laptop is they'll put that in, and they'll put it off at a really tight angle. Don't. Make sure it comes out straight. It doesn't want to be kinked. Like yeah, once we lost three, yep. they're, like, they're expensive, $90. Yeah, people will take this and they'll, they'll slide it up against something and it'll get pushed over. Don't do that. You make a sad laptop. You make a sad laptop and you make daddy cry. <laughs> so this is a ThinkPad R31. It was overhauled on the 10th. So it's like brand new. Yep. And, and this is what we do. So here's your mouse. You don't have an extra mouse for it, do you? It doesn't need a mouse. It has, it has a nipple. It's, it's got a nipple. No, it's great. You can twiddle the nipple. Look, see, it's got a little nipple. It's got a nub. Uh, um, um, this is a center mouse button. So if you're doing anything like Photoshop or something where you need a third mouse button, that's a middle one. But it's just left mouse, right mouse, and a nub. You get really good at this. It'll suck. You'll hate it for the first week. And after that, you wonder how you got around without one. Okay, so just don't don't hate it for the first week. After that, you'll be fine. Um, on the bottom, see this cover? You know what's under there? Magic. Okay. If you open it up, you let the magic out. So don't open the covers on the bottom. There's nothing in there you want to see. Um, <laughs> this is the battery here. You'll never have to take it out, so we're just going to lock that. Um, this is... Hey! Hey! You know what you need? I know what you need. Watch this. You know how you make that even better? You get... Um, let's go over hey, here. can we smoke in this building? <laughs> the day they make it so we can, I'm gonna quit. <laughs> Why well, Grand Rapids is going all uh, smoke free. Yeah, well, screw that. <laughs> where, where? Ah! Ha ah ha! She needs one of these. This is awesome. This is called a port replicator. <laughs> now, you want to use your laptop, like, take it around with you, right? But when you're home, you don't need to use Wi-Fi because you can plug in your Ethernet, which is actually faster. Like right on your router, it's got an Ethernet plug. That's the big one. Okay, the little one's a modem. Nobody uses those. <laughs> don't do that. They'll, they'll beat you up at school if you do that. But you don't want to have to like, especially if you're at home, if you're using this on a desk, it's easier to use it with a full-size monitor and a real keyboard and mouse. You can do that because we have these. This is a port replicator. There's this funny plug on the bottom right here. That goes right here. And what you do is you just, you have that setting on your table, and you bring this home from school, and you just set it right down, and it'll line up, okay? And then you'll, you'll feel there's two holes on the bottom, and they go on these pins. And you just set it right on there. You push it down, and you don't even have to mess with it. You just, oh, you hit that button, and it turns it on. See, the laptop is powered up, and it doesn't realize it's plugged into the thing. But, um, turn it on. Okay, go away. It's going to boot Windows. But on the back of this, you've got VGA and DVI monitor feeds. Come around to the back. Of you. You've got a keyboard and mouse, microphone and speakers, USB, 
I mean, the, everything, printer port, serial port, ethernet port. So you can plug this in to, with the power supply. You can plug the power supply right in the back here, and then you don't have to plug it into the laptop. It's plugged right into this, and you can plug a real monitor into it and all that. And if you have another monitor plugged into this, you can put the monitor, you gotta move over this one. You can plug the other monitor in here and have two screens. Oh, cool. And you can drag stuff from this screen over to that screen. It's really neat. Um, so it lets you add all kinds of stuff to it. We're just going to turn this off. But this is, this is called a docking station or a port replicator. And to take the computer out of it, you just press this button on the side over here. And it just pops right up. Cool. So that'll let you plug all your stuff in, and you can plug that right in there, and then set up your whole desk around this, and then when you want to use a computer at home, you just use it like a regular desktop computer. You can use a real keyboard and mouse and all that jazz, and they just plug right in the back, and these would be all the plugs on the back of your home computer kind of thing. So yeah. Um, do you need a floppy drive? Do you ever use floppy disks? Ever? CD. Yeah, then don't worry about it. Um, it's got a CD drive right inside here, and it'll read DVDs, so you can watch movies on it. But nobody uses DVDs, you just don't. <laughs> um, it's got antivirus installed, it's got Firefox installed. Do you know what Firefox is? Okay, use it. If I catch you using Internet Explorer, I'm gonna find you. Okay, so there's your computer. You are all set.